Okay, so we're going to start concepting with this sphere right here. This is just a sphere that I loaded for my tools. I clicked on my tools and I uploaded a regular sphere 3D. I then made it into a make polymesh. You can tell that this sphere is ready for sculpting because all of my tools have showed up right here. So now I can start using all the uh, sculpting tools. But what we're going to do for this technique is we are going to use a brush called the insert sphere. We're going to insert a sphere into our object, in this case, the sphere. And then what's going to happen is that our first sphere is going to be masked allowing us to modify the inserted sphere. Once we are done editing the second sphere that we added, we will get rid of the mask by holding control and dragging on the canvas. And then, because we are gonna dynamesh the first sphere, we have to hold control and drag on the canvas again to re-dynamesh the two pieces together. But before I do that, I want to go over a couple of things when it comes to rotating the object and finding the symmetry of the object. It's important to know where the center of your object is. And right now, I have my floor turned on. And as I rotate with my left mouse button, you will notice that the grid is showing us that we are now turning the camera. If I want to snap to a side view, as I'm turning, I'm going to hold the shift key and notice that now we are snapped on the side view. If I want to snap to the top view, with my left mouse button, I will rotate by clicking on the canvas. And then as soon as I start getting near the top, I will hold the shift key and I'm now snapped to the top view. Let me go back to the side view. So I'm going to rotate. I've let go of the shift key and now I'm going to hold the shift key so I can snap my camera. Notice that the floor is flat. I'm going to go to the back. So I'm going to rotate like this and then I'm going to hold shift and now I'm in the back. So let me go back to my X view. Now, why am I using the X view? Well, that is because we have symmetry on and I've selected the X. Notice what happens when I move my cursor on top of my object. You notice that I have two mirroring dots. Those two dots are where the brush is hovering on. So if I was to, for example, move, I'm going to select the move topology brush and I'm going to hit S to make my brush bigger. Now, if I move, notice that I move in a mirror direction. I'm going to undo this. The reason why we want to use symmetry is because if you want to insert a sphere in the middle of your object, what you do is you move your cursor until the two dots meet. And now you will notice that when I move this object, I'm only moving the center. So when we insert the sphere with the insert sphere brush, it will insert it in the middle of your object. Okay, so let's start this technique. The first thing that we need to do is convert this object into a Dynamesh object. To do that, we go to our tools, then I'm going to go inside of my geometry, and there's my Dynamesh tool right here. However, in my custom UI, I have it right here. So I'm going to click Dynamesh. It's going to tell me that this object has multiple subdivisions. And if I want to freeze the subdivisions, so I'm going to hit no and my subdivisions are gone. This object is Dynamesh. Let me hit F and let me bring up the wireframe by clicking on polyframe. And as you can see, this is not really good topology, but it's really good for Dynamesh. All right, let's continue. I'm going to zoom out hold alt click on the canvas and drag or I can use these tools right here and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to insert a sphere using the insert sphere brush the insert sphere brush is found in your brushes and if you hold I for insert or anything that starts with an I, your brush palette will be isolating the brushes that start with the letter I. And here's our insert sphere. I have this brush in my custom UI right here. And you will see how this technique works. I'm going to pull out real quick. Again, notice that we have symmetry. If I select my insert sphere now, and then I move my cursor in the middle of my object, and I do a click and drag, notice that I'm creating a sphere. I'm actually inserting a sphere. And as soon as I let go, you will notice that the original sphere will be masked. 
as you can see. In the newly inserted sphere, it's available for editing. So what we can do is we can use the move tool with a gigantic brush. I'm going to hit S and I'm going to make my brush really, really big. And because I have symmetry on, whatever I do on this side, it will be mirror on the opposite side. So I can move this sphere right here and so on. I can go to my top view and do the same. Hit F. And again, I'm rotating to my side view. And as I get closer to my side view, I'm going to hold shift so I can snap to this orthographic view. Same thing for the top. I'm going to move towards the top and then I'm going to hold shift. Same thing for this back view or this front view. The camera is at a 90 degree angle. So all I have to do is rotate the camera and hold shift. And there you have it. So now that I'm happy with what this shape looks like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to release my mask by holding control and then dragging on the canvas. So now you will see that these two objects, if I bring up my polyframe, which is shift F, they're two objects. If I now move the sphere, notice that it does not affect the original sphere. And same thing, I can go to the original sphere and I can move this one without affecting this object. But if I want to take these two things and weld them into one, I'm going to have to read Dynamesh. Because this original sphere was Dynamesh, if I hold control and drag, I will fuse them. If you open your subtool, notice that these two shapes are in the same subtool. So let me show you how this is done. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to click and drag. Again, it's the same shortcut as clearing your mask. And now these two objects are one piece. Notice that if I go over here, they're welded. If I hold shift for smoothing, I'm smoothing these two objects together.